Here is some of the basic vocabulary used in thermodynamics. On the molecular level, particles move around. This is true whether the material is in the solid, liquid, gas, or plasma state. Kinetic energy equals one-half mass times speed squared. Because the molecule is moving, it carries kinetic energy. On the macroscopic level, a measure of the average kinetic energy of the molecules is known as temperature. The total thermal energy of the substance also depends on the total amount of material present. Hence, it is related to the total kinetic energy of the molecules. As an illustration of the difference between temperature and thermal energy, think about a cool cup of coffee that was left out now at room temperature. A swimming pool's worth of liquid at the same temperature will have more thermal energy because it does have more total molecules. However, because it is at the same temperature, the average kinetic energy of the molecules will still be the same as for the small cup of coffee. Heat is the transfer of thermal energy from one object to another. It is incorrect to say that an object has a lot of heat. Rather, it is more correct to say it gives off a lot of heat. Transfer of thermal energy happens when an object has different temperature than its surroundings or another object it is in contact with. If the object and its surroundings are at the same temperature, they are in thermal equilibrium. 
there will be no change in temperature. You will not be able to cool down ice with more ice of the same temperature, nor will you be able to heat up an object with a furnace above the temperature of the furnace. There are multiple mechanisms by which thermal energy can be transferred. There is conduction, which requires direct contact between the molecules of the object and the molecules of its surroundings. There is convection, which requires the movement of the substance that contains the thermal energy from one location to another. And there is radiation through electromagnetic radiation, such as infrared light, visible light, and so on at higher temperatures. There are many factors affecting heat such as the temperature difference or total surface area of contact. But these will be the subject of another video.